Good morning, guys. I hope you are all doing well. Um, well, it's my morning. I don't know what time or when I'll release this video, but I hope you guys saw this so easy video where I used the We Are Member Keeper So Easy tools to make this cute little card. And uh, it just made me laugh because I had this little cricket lady sitting here and she's been sitting here. So I thought, oh, I'll just throw her on there. Um, so that was really fun uh, in case you checked it out. And it's such a bummer I didn't use it more often when, when that was the thing to do. But a couple days ago, I got this in from HSN. I had ordered it, and I totally forgot. And then I went to look to see why I ordered it, like if I had a coupon, but no, I think it was the day that I'm supposed to get $10 off. Just get $10 off, they sent me a coupon. And it wasn't working, and it wasn't working, but this was already on sale, so I was like, I'll just get it anyway, because I've been looking at it. It's sold out now, so that's good. But um, another thing with HSN is I placed an order yesterday for some diamond press things and some chocolate and something else to get to $99, so I can use $20 off. They had it just a coupon for yesterday if you had their credit card. And um, and one of the items that I wrote when it processed, it said, oh, it couldn't apply the coupon to that item, so whatever. And it was Crafters Companion. They have a cute um, apron that y'all never wear, but you know, I, I have other aprons here, my close to my heart ones, a slice one from, I guess, We Are Member Keepers also slice, is that? Yeah, whoever used to make that machine, I uh, got it free at an expo, like, well, I guess not free, I took a class and they gave it to us, but anyway. And um, remember the slice? Somebody had reminded me of the name. It was a little machine and you had a glass mat and you put it on there and it would cut. Really cute. I should use it more often. I still have a ton of cartridges for it but and blades and all that extra stuff. But anyway, if you're not familiar, you should check it out. It's cute. Well, maybe that's what I'll do, a bust it out. Do you guys still have those? Let me know. Um, but anyway, um, so it was an apron, a mug that says, like, Crafters Companion, super fan, and, and a wipey thing? I don't know why, a dry... Um, like microfiber cloth. So that's the one thing they kicked out of my uh, thing. So I was thinking maybe they weren't supposed to post it yet. I don't know. So it said it couldn't apply. But they gave me the discount on the other items. So I'm like, all right, cool. And then when I woke up this morning, it said, oh, we're sorry. We had to cancel an uh, order. Those technical difficulties. So basically I didn't get my coupon. I didn't get the things I ordered. And then they didn't tell me until today. It was just really weird. And it's not even on my list of orders. Like, oh, it says they're like canceled or something, which they've done before. Uh, no, it's just not there. Like, it never happened. So, so people were telling me that they were having issues like that with HSN. So just to let you know, I also had those same issues. And that's a bummer because especially when it comes to a craft day or things like that, where you think you're getting this great deal and then they just cancel it. That's not right. So be careful. Um, I, I don't know how, how you could guard from that. I mean, other than there's nothing to do for that. But I thought that was kind of crazy. But anyway, just a, a little note before we talk about this. So this is the Calligraphic Sentiment Dyes from Anna Griffin. I have looked at these before and I didn't order them. And now when I looked at it right now, because I looked it up to see um, what it was that got delivered, because I left the box sitting outside. I don't touch boxes for a while and then I disinfect them. And uh, I was like, what was delivered? And I didn't get them, like I said, on sale. I guess they were $24.95 and they were supposed to be $29.95, but they always do that, right? And I paid shipping. So I'm like, what was I thinking? Especially because two of these dyes, now that I looked at them, it says Happy Father's Day and Happy Mother's Day. And those are very particular things. Like, how many times are you going to send this out every year? Or maybe once to one person or maybe two people if there's, you know, on either side? I, I don't know. I think that's very... I don't know how I feel about this. But we have three months to return them if I change my mind. So I will use the Happy Birthday one today just to cut it out. It's cute that it's the balloon. Basically, this is why I bought it. But I really didn't look at the other ones, so now I'm like, okay. I mean, I have a nice heart die, I guess, and like a outside of a gift, but it says Happy Father's Day. I guess maybe you can clip it out. I don't know. So we have Happy Birthday, and again, with the little thing. So that's probably what I'll use today. Let me see what kind of ideas they have on their idea sheet. So how are you guys doing? Um, I would love to know if you have a slice that We Remember Keepers machine, because that would be really fun. Did it run on regular batteries? I should go look at it, because if it did, they're probably um, corroded. I need to check it out. It's in the garage, and it's own little tote. I had everything for it, you know? Um, so maybe something quick and simple like this, because um, this is a cute idea right here, because the inner frame doesn't cut out. It just does the filigree part of it, but it doesn't have an edge. Um, so you can inlay this, like, this one, like having Mother's Day. That's cute. So that's another way to use it, I guess. Maybe you can use it twice <laughs> if people won't start noticing. Or it could be your classic thing that every year you send your mom or, you know, a mother in your life um, this set, right? And just change it up. I don't know. All right, well, let me grab some paper and we'll try them out. Okay, so I have a few things here. I'm just going to cut. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to take my Diamond Press um, nesting dies. So um, I know this is not quite available on HSN yet, but they do have the link to the specialty dies that I just reviewed for Diamond Press. But this one, I want to use this outer frame just to try it out. And what we're going to do oh, 
Let's use this guy. And then I'm going to inlay the Happy Mother's Day part. I hope I don't already have these, to be honest. And now that I look at them, I'm like, do I have these already? I'm going to have to look it up. I always double check, but I don't remember looking this one up. So it's quite possible. I hate these plastic things. The way they stick to the um, tape. That's really annoying. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this one and this one. Just the center part. Goodness gracious, that's really stuck on there. Okay. And I'm going to use my diamond press. Because why not? Hopefully that'll work. Okay. So I do have a piece of paper here. It doesn't really matter what size it's cut down to, but it's four and a quarter by five and a half because um, when you use the frame, it's going to cut it down anyway. So, you know, but. So this is the largest scallop frame. I tell you guys, these mats on the diamond press are like perfect for your cards. That's why I love it. It's going to be really fun for your standard A2 size card, right? Um, so I'm going to put that away. Look how cute. And then I'm going to flip this. No. Nah. You can flip your folders. I've been using the same folder on purpose because I want to show you guys that you can use it a ton of times um, and it'll still keep working. So that's why it's so crazy looking. And then I'm going to use this one. Here, and you can of course tape it down, but so I'm just making a quick card front. I might not put it on a card base. Well, maybe I will because we want to see how pretty that is. So, <laughs> anyway, I was going to say something, but it's not worth saying. So I'll leave it at that. Okay. Ooh. Look at how this came out. Everything came out just on this thing, and this thing came out clean. I don't have to even pick anything off of it. Let me. So you have Happy Mother's Day inlaid. So cute. So nice. Okay, so that was that one. And then for this other one, oh goodness, I have to clean this out. Um, I want to do just a balloon. I have a scrap piece of that blue paper I ripped off before I used it for something else. And we'll use our little balloon. So this time I'm going to use both pieces. And what I'll probably do... You know what, they probably nest each other. I want to see how, how close to each other they're going to get, like if it moves. But you know what, that's okay. So I'm going to tape it. Are you guys excited? I know a lot of you guys are telling me you're excited for the 14th. I am too, and hopefully things go well. I just saw an email from Crafters Companion saying that they will be at their... Well, they're not going to be there, but <laughs> they're going to have items. And I think they're going to do a sneak preview, so that's good. Um, on their Crafters TV stuff. Now let's see if this works because this is two dies doubled up. I don't know. Oh my gosh, like butter. Look at that. So good. This little machine, I'm telling you, and if you guys followed the link um, to HSN for the bundle that my my contact gave me it does say sold out it has not gone on sale yet it's just a place marker and i told him if we put the link people are going to freak out and say it says it's sold out and even if i say in the video that it's not sold out it's just a place marker they will still be confused and i already have a ton of comments of people saying it's sold out what am i supposed to do <laughs> so you guys it's not sold out it's just a place marker so don't worry about it but if you want to click on there you will see that i believe unless they change the price um it the bundle the marquee bundle will be 59.95 which i think is pretty decent right for the big guy um and everything i showed you in the today special um so i think that's going to be uh that's a great value i mean if they hadn't sent to me, you guys know I would have bought it because I've been waiting for it. So I would have bought it just at the same price and been very happy. So hopefully that works out for you guys. I'm going to put this balloon. Why not? I was going to use the card base, but I cut it out in here. And then, so yes, so if you click on it, please, please, please. I'm telling you, I'm saying it right here. It is not sold out. It has not become available yet. It will be available on April 14th, which is HSN's craft day, but... It will go live probably around 10 o'clock Eastern the day before. So April 13th, right? So a couple hours going into craft day, it'll be live if you want to pick it up then, um, especially because they're different colors, right? And I hear a lot of people, a lot of people really like the gold. So um, I would have gone with gold myself because my little mini one is gold, but I wanted to see coral. Like I didn't even know the color. He just mentioned what the colors were. So I had to pick from not seeing them, you know? And um, 
and that worked out. It's a pretty color, so I'm happy with it. Um, I'm trying to find a piece of white, like scrap paper. Oh, this is a stamping card. We don't want to waste stamping card. Hey, look at that. <laughs> so that'll work. So, I mean, these cut really nicely. I mean, obviously, if I ran through my Empress, which is right next to me, or my Empress Mini that's just here, too, um, it would wake up the kids because of the noise and all that. So I was just like, you know what? I'll just use my my little machine. I was like, where did this thing go? It's not here. It stayed back here. All right. Let me... Um, I was kind of showing you guys that it works out well, but let me try to grab something so I can actually maybe layer this up. I'll be right back. So I just cut a purple mat, which is like really unexpected, but these colors are kind of fun together, kind of fresh. And of course, if I had a kind of pattern paper, which I'm pretty sure I do, that would match all these colors. Like a little fun, like maybe um, polka dot paper. I could do another mat, but I just, I'm gonna finish this up. So um, again, use a wet glue if you're not good at matting. So that way you have some time to move it around. So I'll put that down. I probably should have worked on this already, but let's glue this down. I'm going to use my little um, tacky glue that's in this little uh, precision bottle. So as far as layering it up, that cut really well. Um, I may have taped it a little bit crooked, but you know, obviously you want to take a little more time, a little more care. And what I do with this is I just kind of run it through little pieces. You can take your dotty tape pen and run this across the back and it'll only stick to obviously where there's paper. So that's another good option or a Zyron sticker maker. How much, or not how much, how many of you guys actually use a sticker maker? I have pretty much every size of it except for the big, big one. And then um, I've had it for so long that the tape dried out, the glue, which kind of lets me know that, hmm, I don't know how long it lasts when you actually use it in a project because it dried up and it completely like flaked away. I don't know. But maybe if you have paper on it, it stays more moist and stays where you put it. I don't know. But uh, but I was like, what a bummer. I never even got to use it. Okay. My 3D glue gel needs to be refilled, so I'm not going to pull that out right now. But I still have some of this sitting in front of me from a video I did. I would not normally waste this precious stuff on something like this. But that's okay. I'm just going to stick this down. So if you want to know this foam on a roll, I get from Crafters Companion and literally they send you, I think, 12 rolls, six skinny ones, six a little bit wider, and it's like $8, <laughs> like so cheap, but it's always out. So if you see it in stock, look up foam on a roll or tape on a roll and you'll see the different options. They have different thicknesses, but they have a set of 12 that I love. So I've ordered it twice that I've seen it pretty much the whole time I've ordered with them. So eh, it's not always in stock. And I give it a little bit of lift. I guess I could have doubled that up. It's not the thickest, that one, because it's really meant for, like, shaker cards. And then I'll glue this little guy down. Ah! Hmm. What the heck? How do you think this is supposed to go on here? Do they have one in here? She used a long piece. Oh, you know what? She went this way with it. All right. Well, I should have thought about that <laughs> before I stuck down the big guy, but there he goes. Cute. And of course, maybe some other, you know, printed paper would have been cute because it's very plain, but that's, um, it cut really nicely, really great. I have had issues with some of their dies, so, I mean, most of the time they cut great, but you've seen other videos where I'm using a thing and it's struggling to cut. And where is that pink one I cut? Here it is. You can layer this up on, you know, something else if this was a card base five and a half by uh, eight and a half and folded in half you have your cute little aperture there and then you can put little flowers and things and decorate around the edges right so thanks for watching guys it's a great set unfortunately like i said it's sold out right now but people are really kind of getting disenchanted with hsn anyway so you can check out AnnaGriffin.com. um she has great things in her store sometimes they're on sale sometimes they're not i've ordered before i think only once or twice before and um and uh, you know even the, I think the haunted house she brought back, she brought to her, her store, which it was sold out everywhere. People were price gouging for the thing and um, other, you know, things like that. I think maybe in the gingerbread house. So, you know, check it out because you might catch something on there that you didn't see before. And she has plenty of things that she doesn't bring to HSN on there too. So um, definitely check it out. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.